Hiya, I'm Science Sam, and welcome to Glasgow Science Centre. And this is Glasgow Science. And this is a blowtorch. We're going to find out how many ways you can cook the humble tatty scone with science. Number one, blowtorch. So the flame for this blowtorch is about 1500 degrees. You can see just how hot it is with the blue, the blue flame coming out of there. It's the same temperature of this tatty scone was to re-enter Earth's atmosphere from outer space. So, can you cook a tatty scone with a blowtorch? Aye. Number two, can you cook a tatty scone using a giant fire tornado? So just like the blowtorch that you saw before, the blowtorch was about 1500 degrees. This is nowhere near that hot. We're putting the tatty scone over the top of the flame and it's starting to heat up the tatty scone. Probably starting to scorch it on the bottom. Can you cook a tatty scone using a giant fire tornado? Well, aye, obviously, because it's a giant fire tornado. Number three, Tesla coil. For this, I need to be on a step. Dim the lights. So the Tesla coil is producing lightning. It's taken 250 volts out of the mains and transformed it into 250,000 volts. So, is it possible to cook a tatty scone with a Tesla coil? No, absolutely not. It's totally wrong. Number four, can you cook a tatty scone using potassium permanganate and glycerol? So now we're just going to add in our glycerol on top of the potassium permanganate and watch what happens. Just keep your eyes on it, what's going to happen. And you see it's starting to smoke away. And eventually, we get a nice bright flame. Every chemical reaction has an activation energy. So here, the activation energy between potassium permanganate and glycerol is so low that it allows the reaction to spontaneously combust. So. Can you cook a tatty scone using potassium permanganate and glycerol? Technically aye, but you wouldn't eat it. You could always do it like this. Number five, the pan. So in this, we've got some hot oil in a pan. When that heats up, it starts to fry the tatty scone. The traditional way to do it, face shield, gloves, it's heating up really, really hot, really, really quickly. And when it does that, it starts to cook it all the way through in the middle, you know, that we don't end up with a raw or overly burnt potato scone. He says, So, can you cook a tatty scone with a frying pan? Aye. And that's Glasgow Science.